Hi everyone, my name is Joseph. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. So today I'm going to be um, training you on how to create group charts in Microsoft Teams. It is not every user in organization that has this option to create team in Teams because uh, not all admins would want people to create proliferated Microsoft 365 groups because every team you create in team replicates as a group in Microsoft 365 and creates an active site in SharePoint. So admins don't want multiplication of this so they limit people who can create teams so they can moderate them. So if you have that limitation and you still want to collaborate with your friends, with your colleagues on a project, you can just come to charts and you see this option right here, it is called new group charts. And then what you can do is to add, add, invite users to this and you can invite as much as 250 colleagues to collaborate with you on a project. Let's say we are bringing in this user. We are bringing in this user. Um, we are bringing in our test user. Remember this test user, right? That we've been using, test user two two. Let's say we are bringing this user uh, let's say we are bringing this user to their group, right? So we we'll have option to create this group. It's going to be bearing new group chat initially and later it will be bearing the name of everyone that you put in their group plus two. And this does not make sense, right? So you want to give it a name so that you can keep track of it. So before you can do that, you need a pencil icon to show up here for you to rename this group chat. That icon cannot come up until you initiate a chat, just one chat. Let's say hi chat and then you'll soon see a pencil icon come up here for you to rename this group with what whatever name you want to give to it let's say um group chat creation is the name of the group right so we can save it and by the left and right hand side here you can know the members of this group chat you see these users are the members of this group chat so if you want to add member to it let's say a project has been going on for a while and you want to add a new person to the project you have the option to come to here and add and then you have the option to include all chat do not include all chat history you want to include all chat history for between one and 999 days so this is how you can fix it you can take this away and you will need to type a number between one and 999 days that is if you want the user to have access to the work that we done some basic time i mean some specific time in the past before adding this user to the group but if you want him to have access to as long as you know the history has been you will do this so let's say we are adding another user let's say um we are adding which user do i have let's say we're having test user 33 33 to this project and then we say okay include all chat history for him we've added that right so he is going to find himself in this group chat called group chat creation and he's going to have access to all the projects that were done in the past let's say we have another user whom we do not want to have access to those and we want to add a user i'm going to show you another way to add users to this group chat is to come to this type and then this uh, place to type in a message and then you can press the add button and then you're going to have option to add mention people you also have the option to to add someone to group chat let's say we want to add another user let's say another test user let's see yeah i have a test user also test user i think that is uh, let me see yeah test user just this user and i don't want this user to have access to the previous chat at all i just want him to continue from today's work and going forward and every other thing that we have done prior to this is uh, not to be displayed to him so when i do that i'm going to click on add so if i want to know the members of this group chat just for you to know this option was just made available in january 2023 it was not uh, this way before now all right so let's take this off our our type now and come to this place so we we'll have all the members that are of this group chat you can add as much as 250 now how do i remove user from group chat it's just to come to this same place and come to this uh, um, 
X icon to X the user out of the group. But it's not everyone that is going to have this option available. It depends on the messaging policy that is set by the admin. So if you are having difficulty in removing someone from group chat, then you can contact the admin to enable that for you. And if there is need, uh, I think the admin can, you know, grant answers to your request. So this is how to add user, how to create, how to add, and how to remove user from group chat. Now let us see um, the other end users, the other invited user, our demo user too. too. Let's see if it's going to have it here. This is the group chat he was invited to, so he can have option to chat. Let's say you want to add mention me who created the group chat. Then you can say hello just to bring my attention to whatever is happening. And I'm going to get that prompt on my application. Yes, that I have been at mentioned by the test user too too in this and is telling me hello perhaps something is important that they want to cascade to me let's see i want to add a project to this group for us to collaborate let's see a word project i can go to this i can just click on this attachment option here then i go to upload from computer then i can go to my desktop mind you i have i have this as demo before and so let's say we are going to create a new um, let's see, let's create a new word document for us to collaborate on as a sheet a clean sheet for us to start working right okay so i can give it say uh we can work on this project together we can all work together on this all right so let me save it as test group chat you know, on my desktop browse um yeah desktop right desktop let me just say test collaboration text group collaboration so i want the members of this group to be able to work collaboratively on this application on this application at a go <coughs> excuse me so what i can do now is to come here upload then i go to my desktop uh, i gave it Give it test collaboration right so i'm going to hit on open and that's going to load that file for me on the group charts let's hold on for it to load loading and it's fully loaded so i'm going to hit on send when i hit on send this file is going to be available on two places it's going to be available in the chat for us to open our work is also going to be available in files if you click down on files here you are going to see it here so this is from joseph joseph's end so let us go to the test user's end and see what he's going to have in his own environment so he's going to have this one here too and he's going to have it on that file let's say he's going to open this file and also and also joseph is going to open this file so from his own end he's going to be doing let's come here uh let's come to this place his own end right the file is open let's see he's going to be doing okay still loading right okay let's say he's going to be doing thank you for sharing this with me I will be working with you now this is saving in real time so I don't I don't need to I don't need to uh, be checking whatever I want to save or anything I can modify the file I can do a lot so let's now check the other users end as well to see his own file how it is open for him so this one that wants on this open is telling him that test look at it test user 22 is typing from that angle and let's say he also is here saying okay let us start um, by introducing the topic the topic so from his own end here he's going to be seeing him here typing joseph is typing okay let's let us introduce the topic so let's say user two to test user two to now say introduction and he is the one working on introduction maybe down here he's typing right then let's say this other one here who is here on this browser 
is to come down here while this other one is typing in the introduction then he is to come down here to do chapter one chapter one so the both of them can start work can continue working on this document at the same time and as many as 250 persons can be participating in this same document at that same time in real time right so i haven't said that now let's look at how this is different from a team right so coming to group charts right you have the option to come to five but in five you don't have the option to create subfolders because it does not have um, a SharePoint presence so you can create SharePoint folders here but let's now go to team just to conclude our tutorial for today if you come to team let's say here right and you go to files here you have the option to create folders and subfolders to put in your file so I think this is the only disadvantage I will see here because here you have this drop down right to put in your folders to create folder to add documents to because this has a presence in SharePoint so you can create SharePoint folders here to accommodate your you know your your files and well arranged so here in the group chat you have that option to add file but you do not have the option to bring in subfolders or to create folder at all because it does not have present in SharePoint so but the good news is you have the option to add as much as 250 persons to collaborate on the file you can go on a group call so if I click on this now everyone on that group is going to be ranked to come to the call right so there can be a lot of things that can be done let's say for example I want to put in a message that is urgent for everyone to attend to I can just say kindly be present by let's say 9004 a quick call so this is going to be ringing every member of the group every 20 seconds can you can you look at this when i look at urgency and i, I put it here it said notification notify recipient every 20 seconds every 20 minutes for excuse me notify recipient every two minutes for 20 minutes so that it keeps notifying the user that there is an urgent uh, attention that is needed in one of the group chat for him to look at so you have the option to do urgent to add attachment you can react and you can put in gif there in the group chat so you have option to do a lot of things in a within a group right so this is how to create how to use and how to you know manage group chat if you have questions regarding this you can let me know i am always open for collaboration uh, i am available on linkedin so if you have any queries you can just hit me up and i'll be happy to assist you uh, if you need a professional to assist you in your microsoft 365 product and services i am always here i am open to your offer as a freelancer i am a trainer so if you want to train your colleagues or your employees then you can contact me i'll be happy to assist thank you so much for your time today and i hope uh, i was able to contribute a little to your knowledge 